great to have an All East final. Um, being a former player in the PSAC East, uh, congratulations to Damian Blair, the Westchester University team. Uh, we've had three great games with them this year. Um, commend them on a great season to this point. I have a feeling they'll be in the NCAA tournament as well. Um, and it's great to have an All East representation. Um, <clears throat> but proud of my guys. When you look at the stat sheet, um, that's only part of the picture. Um, having these four guys up here, we could have probably brought a few more. To play the style that we play, back-to-back -back days, contrasting styles when you have Mercyhurst that played a switching man uh, the entire game, tried to slow it down. Today was a little bit of a track meet. To be able to understand how to play in those situations and have two completely different games back-to-back, -back, that's a tribute to my guys and the way that they play. Um, and also with the guard play that Westchester has, um, Shannon Givens, Troy Hockaday, they're tremendous. For us to turn up that team over 26 times, that says a lot about our defensive effort and the, uh, <laughs> and the intensity of which my guys play. So I give my guys a lot of effort. You guys seem like in the second half we figured out something against their defense. What was it in particular that you guys were able to change from the first half that seemed a little bit skittish? Uh, I mean, in the first half we were missing a lot of easy buckets. Um, a lot of shots that we would normally hit, but uh, coach has told us that it's a long game, game of runs. Um, I mean, when we knock down those easy shots, that's when we get in our pressure and we can get up in people and turn them over, like he said. But uh, in the first half, we were missing those in the beginning, and then um, it's a long game, and we came out on top. Well, let's talk a little about the free throw shooting. Obviously, you go 38-43 for the game, but first half, uh, from the floor, you shoot only 37%, but you go 16 for 18 at the line, and then... In the second half, as Westchester's trying to make a run, you guys continue to go to line and knock them down and, and continue to hold the lead and even expand on it a little bit. You mm -hmm. just got to have confidence when you have the free throw line, and that's what all the players just sitting right before me did. You know, we practice it every day in practice. You know, it's been five to ten minutes on it, and we came out tonight and shot it with confidence. And <coughs> what better way to shoot it with confidence than in the championship game? To give the first four real quick to start the second half, and then uh, I think it was 22 to 7 run. What in particular stuck out to you about that stretch? Well, I did remember the first four points because we came out of the locker room saying that we needed a little bit more defensively. We needed to get stops and rebounds and, you know, try to set the tone on the way the second half was going to be played. And then we gave up the first four points in the second half. So uh, I think we might have been sleeping at halftime. But the um, thing that stuck out to me is we played fast. Um, our, our guys got stops in that, in that situation, which got us into our pressure. Um, I thought Matt did a very good job of pushing the ball. Wiss and Jamal were tremendous running the wing today. Um, getting, getting ahead of the pack, um, it, it makes it easy for Matt to find <clears throat> those two guys up the sideline when they're running as hard as they were running today. Um, again, coming back back to back days, that's not all, all the time easy. Um, and then the guy sitting to my left here, Rashid Moore, who's a freshman, didn't, let, didn't play like freshman. Uh, 19 points, 9 rebounds. Uh, he was the anchor in the middle. We knew we needed to get some inside touches versus their switching man in zone. Um, he settled down in there and and gave us some great looks. Um, we got it in there. He got the free throw line 12 times himself. So, um, you know, a guy like that playing as a freshman, uh, I think there's a lot of good years ahead of him. Rashid and Jamal, can you just talk a little about your decisions that come to ESU? Obviously different you coming out of high school and you transferring from Ryder, but they've had a lot of success lately. I won a PSAC championship two years ago. This is now your fourth, this is going to be your fourth time in the NCAA tournament in five years. Talk a little about the decision for you guys to want to come here and be part of this program. Uh, my decision was based on out of high school. They recruited me, kind of turned them down. Went to, got a little, got a little big headed. Wanted to go D one, kind of didn't work out. So all of them they had a scholarship. He said if I come, have an opportunity. He didn't guarantee me anything. Came in, worked hard, gave me a shot, and I ran with it. So it was a good, it was a good decision. Good atmosphere, good coaching. So same with me. He said he said he never guaranteed me anything. He said, if you wanted a good coach and you wanted to be coached, you can all, uh, this is the place for you. If you don't want to be coached, this isn't the place for you. And that kind of made my decision up because.